couple of notes before we go ahead and start. Uh, we encourage you to post your questions as they come up. And if you have any technical issues, just let us know and we'll do our best to resolve them um, right away. Um, I'll be moderating today's webinar together with my colleague, John Reed. Um, John, I think I covered pretty much everything. Do you, um, do you wanna add something? Uh, no, we're looking good, we're ready to go. Hope everyone enjoys it. All right. Okay, okay thank you very much. Welcome. Cam and, and John. So today's session is about product costing in SAP Espahana. For people who don't know me, my name is Janet Salmon. I'm the Chief Product Owner for Management Accounting, at, in, so part of development working out of Baldorf. So I cover the areas like product costing, profitability analysis, overhead management, really what we used to call CO. So what are we going to talk about today? First of all, I think I'm going to cover a lot of misconceptions, and some of those, of course, have been caused by SAP themselves. So when I started, first started working with the Material Ledger way back probably 20 years ago, we always called it Material Ledger slash actual costing, as though they were one and the same thing, and you'll see that in the menu structures, the IMG. And we've made quite a radical cut in Esfahana. The Material Ledger is something that everybody's going to be using, which has brought panic into some quarters. And actual costing is something that we see as optional, something that you'll do in certain countries, something that you'll do in certain industries, something that's very important, but not necessarily something you have to do. And I'll try and make that difference clear. 